Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about work word problems. So, if I was given this problem. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. Working together, Jenny and Natalie can mop a warehouse in 5.14 hours. Had she done it alone, it would have taken Natalie 12 hours. How long would it take Jenny to do it alone? So a few things we want to note here. The work of Natalie, okay, so work is Natalie's work rate times 12 hours, okay? Uh, we don't know what Jenny's work rate, but we can label that as Jenny times T here, okay? So, one thing though, we do know, okay, I have my work on two pages here, so bear with me here, okay, is their work rate together, okay, they tell us that total job they can do together if we take their work rates, we add them together, in 5.14 hours, okay? So, now, what we're looking to do Okay, we want to substitute what we can. We know that work rate is equal to n times 12. Okay, it's a little different way to do it. We have so n times 12 here, that same work is equal to uh, j plus n times 5.14. Distribute that across to both parts here. And we have really, let's go up right as like this, 12n is equal to 5.14j plus 5.14n. And let's try to get our n's together. We subtract 5.14 to both sides, and we're left with a 6.86n equal to 5.14j. From there, let's get n by itself. Divide both sides by 8.16. And we're left with n by itself here is equal to 0.7493j. Okay? Oh, a lot of work there, but we have n by itself. So now let's go back into our equation and see if we can plug that in for n. Okay? So we have our work here, it's a w, is equal to j plus. This is n, but 0.7493j times 5.14, okay? And we know in terms of j's and t, all right, j's and t, that Jenny's work, our work is j times t. So we have uh, j times t here equals, we add these together, whew, j plus 0.7493 uh, oh no, I just, <laughs> why did I distribute that? Anyway, I ended up distributing these two together and then adding them together. So you can add them here. Uh, if we do that, we have, well, actually I won't distribute, silly. We have 1.7493j times 5.14. Now multiply that out. I don't know why I was doing it the other way. 8.99j, I must not have been thinking earlier. Glad I caught myself. And we have j times t. So now, what's interesting, okay, let's look it up. We can see how it lines up. We have j times t equals 8.99 times j. Let's rewrite that. j times t is equal to j times 8.99. So what is t equal? Divide both sides by j, or they cancel out. And Jenny's time, we have 8.99 hours. And that's how long Jenny would take to do it alone. So if you uh, learned something here that's great, subscribe to our channel and like this video. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.